East Coast money and left wing thinking is back in Colorado. Billionaire gun hater Michael Bloomberg from his New York City penthouse wants to tell Coloradans what's best for their state. That's offensive. Financial reports reveal the Bloomberg funded Everytown Group has paid a Denver lobbying firm to try and block legislation that would allow sheriff's departments across Colorado to train teachers to carry a firearm and respond to an active shooter situation in their school. I have always believed parents and local school administrators know what's best for their community. More than a dozen rural Colorado school districts want the ability to train and arm faculty to respond to a threat because police can take up to 60 minutes to get there in some of those rural areas. For Michael Bloomberg to stick his nose into Colorado politics is arrogant and un-American. If his lobbying effort is successful, he could get someone killed. Thankfully, the truth is, his lobbying efforts are rarely successful, but that doesn't mean we won't stop fighting him. The fake news that thrived during the campaign. That's fake. False news stories. So-called fake news disinformation. All the lies. Fake news stories filling your news feed. And the Russians were promulgating fake news. Spread of fake news online. Well, the fake news continues. Take a look at this tweet from the Associated Press. It says, breaking. House votes to roll back Obama rules on background checks for gun ownership. Folks, that is a bold-faced, flat-out lie. Politico repeated the claim. It's so devious, I have to call it out. What the House did last week is roll back an Obama rule that stripped seniors of their rights to keep firearms if someone helps them with their finances. Without a hearing, due process we call it, the government could strip seniors of their Second Amendment rights because getting help with finances put them in a category of, get this, mentally deficient. That's the gun-grabbing Obama regulation the House rolled back. It has nothing to do with background checks. More proof liberal mainstream reporters simply can't be trusted.